Hey guys, I'm here with a quick candle review of Bath & Body Works Spice It Up Cinnamon Pretzel Twist. This is one of the newer ones that just came out this year. Most of the White Barns didn't get them out till like White Barns and Bath & Body Works. They didn't get them out till almost the beginning of September. Usually they come out a lot earlier than that, but these were kind of late coming out unless you lived close to a test store. So this one here is in the package that has the Eat Dessert First label on the top there. And I'll read the description. Fresh ground cinnamon, soft homemade pretzel, vanilla cream icing. So I thought this one was pretty good. I did enjoy it. It was kind of like a cinnamon pretzel. Uh, you got that, definitely got that like baked, like doughy. Got like a bready kind of doughy, similar to a pretzel. Could almost be a little bit like a cinnamon bun, a little bit, but but not exactly. It's nothing like this scent I thought might be like pumpkin cinnamon bun from years past, but it was out last year and uh, I think it was last year and the year before, no, 2014 then it came out again last year. But it's not like that. I don't think it's like that. It's got similarities to it, but it's nothing exactly like that. This one is just, it's somewhat like you kind of are smelling a pretzel with the cinnamon sprinkles on top. And it does have kind of a, a lot of people have said it has kind of a burnt smell to it. I agree somewhat to what they're saying. I get what they're saying, but I don't necessarily think it smells burnt. It's not like a scorched burnt. It's like a, and a lot of people said it smells like toast, like burnt toast. I don't know if I would say burnt, but I would say maybe toast that's like way up high on like, you know, you have the one through the four on the toast scale that you turn it up to. Maybe like you have it really high up there to almost four and it's like really dark, but not scorched burnt. Like you burnt your toast and it's got that real burnt smell. I don't really think it has a burnt burnt smell, but it's got a really, really done, like really good, like dark, dark brown toast, if that makes sense. To where it's almost burnt, but not quite like that browning kind of real dark smell of a, of a toast and also like cinnamon rolls like the pumpkin cinnamon when I said it smelled like a cinnamon roll browning in the oven it kind of has a kind of a, a similarity to it in that regard it's just a really good baked browning kind of a scent or like a a toast that's just really really dark it's, it has that smell to it oh and the vanilla cream icing it, you get hints of that vanilla cream icing in it but not it's not super creamy, like with icing. Just maybe a little hint of vanilla cream ice in there, but I mostly got like cinnamon sprinkles kind of on like a, a bready pretzel type of bready type of dough type of scent. I liked it. I thought it was really good. That's the scent itself was good. The burn on this was not the best in the world. The burn, for some reason, when you first burned this, it did not want to pull out. If you can see here now, it has a lot of residue on the side. That's because it just, the wax was weird. It was like a, almost kind of like a different consistency. I have my pepper plum candle that I'm gonna do a review of here next. That one almost had like a beeswax, real gooey like beeswax kind of wax. This was similar, but not as bad as the peppered plum. But it didn't wanna pull out right away at first. It just struggled to pull out and the flames weren't super high not completely puny but they were pretty low so i had a cotton ball it so those flames would get up so it would melt down better and it did work but i had to do that quite a bit to almost the first half of it when it got to about the halfway point then it kind of corrected itself and it didn't do that as bad and it, it pulled out pretty good for the most part a little bit slower pulling out because that wax was just a little different consistency and then it didn't completely melt off the sides because it was such a gooey thicker wax but I didn't have to calm ball anymore after the halfway point and usually it's the opposite usually it does really good burning until and then sometimes it'll pune out towards halfway point and the rest of the way down this was the opposite it actually you had to calm ball the first part and then it kind of corrected itself the rest of the way down so yeah the burn was a little sketchy on this the throw it was a little off and on as well. Sometimes I smelled it really good. I'm like, I could walk into the room. As, I Sometimes I would walk into the room and smell it really good. And then when I was in the room, I kind of lost it. I'm like, I would lose the scent and think it was kind of not as strong once I was in the room with the scent. 
But then other times I'd be in there and I'd be like, mm, I could really smell really good. It was very uh, off and on with the scent through with this. But when I was doing good with the scent through, I'd probably give it about, uh, I'd say, a seven to seven and a half. But then when it wasn't going very strong, I'd probably say almost was down to like a five sometimes when it was really light, maybe four or five. It was weird because it wasn't real consistent with the scent throw for me with this. So I did enjoy the scent, but I do wish the burn would have been better because I kind of had a struggle with getting that to pull out and cotton ball and stuff. So that was a little disadvantage. And then the scent throw itself, I kind of wish it would have been a little bit stronger, more consistently than what it was. Because I prefer them to be a little bit stronger. I don't want to have to like, sometimes you not smell it, sometimes you do smell it. I think everybody wants to be able to smell it the whole time through. I just wish it would have been a little bit stronger, uh, more consistently throughout the candle. But I did enjoy the scent and it was nice when I could smell it really well. And um, I think I would probably get it again and try it out. Because it was a, a, a really good scent, I think, overall. So that is my review for Spice It Up Cinnamon Pretzel Twist. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in our next video. Bye.